Welcome to the video tutorial for control authorities. You will learn how to use the ECMT digital system. From January 1st, 2026, the ECMT digital system will substitute the current system of paper ECMT licenses and logbooks. To test the system, you need to connect to eddy-test.itf-oecd.org. To be sure that you are using the correct test version, the banner should be red. If you are the main responsible of a control authority in your country, the national authority in charge of issuing the ECMT licenses should open an account for you. If you are working in any subdivision, the central control authority should open an account for you. Once your account is created, you will be able to create other accounts within your authority. Once your account has been created, you will receive an email with your username and password. At the first login, you will receive a PIN code and you will then change the password. If you don't have this email, please contact your national authority. When you log in, you will find the main menu on your left. Click on Workplace section to manage your subdivisions, team accounts, your account, and perform a control. Click on the Incidents section to contact the service provider. Click on My Profile section to manage your personal account. Additionally, you will find manuals and video tutorials in the Help section. To manage your account, go to the section My Profile. You can change your password if needed. By default, if your account has been created by the National Issuing Authority, this authority can manage your account. There is the possibility of forbidding the National Issuing Authority to manage your account. Go to the section Workplace and then Profile. Under Management Type, choose Disable the possibility for the NIA to close slash suspend slash disable or do anything else to CA accounts. Then click Save. You can create subdivisions according to the organization of your national control authority. To create a new subdivision, go to the section Workplace in the main menu and then Subdivisions. Click on Create. In the field name, you should enter the name of the subdivision. In the field email, you should enter an existing email address to which the person has access. An email address can be used for one account only. In the field password, you should enter a temporary password. If you want to change the name of the subdivision, select it and click on Edit. You can only change the name. It is not possible to change the email address linked to the subdivision. It is not possible to delete a subdivision. You can invalidate it. You select the subdivision you want to invalidate, click on Edit, and select No at the question is valid. As Control Authority Administrator, you can create new accounts for other administrators in your division and for control officers. Go to the section Workplace in the main menu and then Users. Click on New User. In the field email, you should enter an existing email address to which the person has access. An email address can be used for one account only. In the field password, you should enter a temporary password. In the field role, you should choose between administrator and control officer. The account as administrator will have the right to create new accounts and perform controls, while the account as officer can only perform controls. Once you created the user, you can click on Membership Info to see that user's details. From there, you can disable the user in case the person is no longer employed by your company. If you disable a user, you can enable it again in the future. It is not possible to delete an account from the system. If you disable a user, it will be deleted automatically after a period of 12 months. The account will also be deleted if a user does not connect for 12 months. From Membership Info, 
You can also change the role from administrator to control officer and vice versa. If you need to reset the password for a user, click on more actions and then reset password. A user can be blocked if it fails to log in too many times. You can unblock it by clicking on more actions and then unlock user. The ECMT license and the related logbooks can be printed on a regular white paper or presented on a mobile device. The ECMT license shows all the attributes on the left, number, validity dates, issuing date, vehicle type, restrictions, company's name and address, issuing authority. On the top right, there is QR code to be scanned with the ECMT mobile application. On the bottom right, there is a QR code to be scanned with any device with a camera. On the top in the center, there is the unique code of the license to be used in the ECMT digital system. The logbook shows some attributes of the license on the left, number, validity dates, issuing date, vehicle type, restrictions, company's name, issuing authority. It also shows the last 10 journeys, on the top right, there is QR code to be scanned with the ECMT mobile application. On the bottom right, there is a QR code to be scanned with any device with a camera. On the top in the center, there is the unique code of the logbook to be used in the ECMT digital system. There will be three ways to perform a control. Scan the QR code on the top right with the mobile application both offline and online. Scan the QR code on the bottom right with a mobile device to be redirected to the ECMT digital system. To be able to access the information, you need to log in in the digital system. Insert the unique code of the license or the, the unique code logbook in the ECMT digital system. To download the mobile application, go to the section My Profile and then Mobile Access. Click on Download APK to download the application on Android phones. The mobile application will be available also on Play Store for Android and App Store for iOS. Once the application is installed, you can register our mobile device to be able to save the results of the controls. You click on Register Mobile Device and scan the QR code through the application. You can register multiple mobile devices. To perform a control, you launch the mobile application and scan the QR on the top right of the ECMT license or logbooks. The mobile application verifies the validity of the private signature and says whether the document is valid or not. The mobile application will also show the attributes encrypted in the QR code. The validation works both offline and online. To perform a control through the ECMT digital system, go to the section Workplace and then Controls. In this section, you can see all the performed controls with indication of unique codes, search results, control results, and comments. To start a control of a license, click on Start Control. Enter the unique code, the 13-digit number on top of the license, and click Search. If the unique code is valid, a new window will open with all the attributes of the license. If the unique code is not valid, a new window will open saying that the number was not found. To start a control of a logbook, click on Start Control. Enter the unique code, the 13-digit number on top of the logbook and click Search. If the unique code is valid, a new window will open. In the tab Logbook, you can see all the journeys performed with the license related to the logbook, from the last to the first one. You can also see the truck's documents and the trailer's documents if applicable. Please note that the documents should also be available on board in printed form. There is no obligation to have the trailer's documents in the ECMT digital system. If you need to save the information about the journeys performed with the license, click on Print Full Logbook 
and download or print the PDF file. In the tab License, you can see the attributes of the license related to the logbook. If the unique code is not valid, a new window will open saying that the number was not found. Once you perform a control of a logbook, you can decide whether to save the result or not. If you do not want to save the result, you click on Close. If you want to save the result, click on Register Control Result. Under Result Type, there are three options. The first option is Valid. You select this option if the license and the logbook are filled in according to the rules. Once you click Finish, the system generates a report that can be printed or downloaded. The second option is Suspicion. You select this option if you detect some infringements of the rule. In this case, you need to fill in the section Comments with the reason of your decision. The text can be written in your national language. Once you click Finish, the system generates a report that can be printed or downloaded. The third option is Special Remark. You select this option if you want to write something that should be visible to control authorities of other countries. In this case, you need to fill in the section Comments with the reason of your decision. The text can be written in your national language. Once you click Finish, the system generates a report that can be printed or downloaded. The results will be accessible for 12 months in the ECMT digital system. As administrator, you can decide who has access to the results of the controls performed by your team according to the national legislation. Go to Section Workplace and then Profile. Under Search Type, there are three options. The first option is the Control Authority Administrator can see all control results and Control Officers can see all control results. You select this option if you want to allow everyone in the same division to access the control results. The second option is the Control Authority Administrator can see all control results. Control Officers can see only their controls. You select this option if you want to allow only the administrators to access the control results but not the other control officers in the team. The third option is the Control Authority Administrators cannot see the results of the controls. Control Officers can only see their controls. You select this option if only the Control Officer performing the control can see the results and no one else. If you have any questions or if you encounter a bug, go to the section Incident in the main menu. To open an incident, click on Post an Incident. In the field Incident Type, specify the nature of your request. The ITF will receive a notification and will react to your request. Go to the section Help in the main menu to access the help manuals. In this section, Short videos are available for each task that can be performed in the system.